Everybody else is here. Look, there's your attorney. He's dressed. But you're the one who's the guest of honor. It's your life, not his. It's your life at 10 years. Dress better than that. Uh, I, do you have parents? Today's case brings forth a defendant who, unfortunately, missed the memo on appropriate courtroom attire, as this young man has stepped into the court wearing a plain white t-shirt and his flashy gold necklace. Judge Stevens wastes no time in addressing the defendant's lack of respect for the proceedings, emphasizing the importance of taking court appearances seriously, especially when the stakes are as high as they are for this defendant. Facing the possibility of a 10-year prison sentence, the gravity of the situation seems lost on him, as he appears more suited for a night out on the town than a court of law. But as the hearing progresses, tensions rise, and the line between reprimand and overreach begins to blur. Did Judge Stevens' admonishment cross the line, or was it a necessary wake-up call for the defendant to recognize the gravity of his situation? Let me know in the comments what you think. Where is he? In custody? No, he's outside. He's outside. He's outside. He's outside. He's outside. Bring him in. Uh, I think he does have the misdemeanor also set probation. Up on another on probation. Um, for him. I, I don't know about probation. Huh? Yeah, you just don't know. He also knows. Um, your Trabant, Trabiante Botna? Yes, sir. Uh, you really don't think too much about this court, do you? This is my first time. Yeah, this. well, you're not showing any respect at all. Look at everybody in the room. Look at all the men. Yeah, you see time. everybody? Like, it's, it was important you wear your gold necklace. No, but I you have a t-shirt and you're going to interrupt me? No, do you know no, any rules of conduct? I don't think you do. I don't think I, I think you grew up kind of off the grid here without any sensibility of well, uh politeness, rules of decorum, rules of behavior. This is a, a court of honor. We deal with the constitution. That's what we do. The the law of the land. You look like you're here ready for a clam dig. You're on the beach about to do a clam dig. That's what you look like. If you need some clothes to borrow that, you know, make you look like you appreciate and respect the proceedings here, we can get that for you. But everybody in, look at the men. Everybody's got a tie except the people who are wearing uniforms. You're charged with, listen. A crime that can put you in prison for 10 years. You think that's important in your life? Yeah, it is important. Listen to one. Isn't that important in your life? Yes. 10 years of your life, 10 years in prison. This is the way you're dealing with it, showing that you really don't care much about it. This is what you wear to go to the convenience store, I guess, in the middle of summer. Dress nicely. All right. I'm not going to tell you you have to wear a tie. But you're looking at up to 10 years in prison. Why don't you show some respect, not only to the proceedings here, but for your own life? Your own life. I mean, if nothing else, you want to at least impress everyone that you understand and appreciate the proceedings. This really looks like you don't care. What about your own life? Everybody else is here. Look, there's your attorney. He's dressed. But you're the one who's the guest of honor. It's your life, not his. It's your life at 10 years. Dress better than that. Uh, I, do you have parents? He said, but hey, he's been come on, come on. Yeah, it, 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 but, but the point is, is even if they didn't have... 
some parents aren't good role models, but you're uh, uh, you're an, you're 18 now, right? Yeah, you're an adult. You can't blame it on the parents anymore. It's your responsibilities to act responsibly. And the first step is, you know, wearing when you come into proceedings like this, would you go to church like that? Why not? No, but you would you wear but you would you just wear a t-shirt to church though? Yes. Well, look, look, uh go to Salvation Army. I'm on the board. They'll fix you up with some nice clothes for people who can't afford it. Yes, sir. There are places in town that can help you dress nicely, especially when you're here. But you're wearing a gold necklace. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, show what's important in life. You know, a jewelry, I guess, has its fashion importance, but really, it doesn't work well with a T-shirt. Uh, so, you know, fix that. But if you need some help, I'm on. Uh, I'll help you. Uh, the Salvation Army. It has nice clothes for people. It's not just you stuff. They have nice clothes uh, for people, and they're right on the highway. My point is, dress nicely. You're an adult. It's you. You're an adult. Start acting responsibly, and, and fix this mess here that you're in. Not only criminal misconduct, but every day, like how you wear your clothes. That's important. Uh, anyway. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Rose. Judge, I think uh, Mr. Fontenot uh, realizes court point. He will I, I, care, I, we're we'll take on. care of this. He'll take care of it. Yeah, we're moving on. What are we going to do about this? Uh, I yes. asked to have this reset, Judge, because I understand uh, haven't spoken to the prosecutor enough to find out about other possible litigation that he may be involved in. Okay, what did I say? Three weeks? Three weeks. That's okay, fine. good. And your Honor, I believe previously in a murder trial that we had, he had posted a an autopsy photo of the victim on uh, the internet, which we can get a photo of that for the court, after the court posted on the You're going to have to play like that's not the only case that I've done since I've tried 500 Fifty some odd. It was in the. We have every day. We have a big docket. Help Dar me out. Daryl Prevost murder trial, Your Honor. Uh, it was that. It's familiar. At McDonald's, uh, it occurred at McDonald's. Oh, in the drive. Yes, sir. What did this person do? I had posted uh, a photo of the autopsy on the uh, one of the. Uh, he copied it off of here when it was placed on the YouTube. Uh, and put it on the internet. You did that. You did that because you did that. You're going to jail right now because that's there's a sign that says don't record any of this. Yeah, I didn't. They be having fake pages. They be posting stuff like I oh somebody them. else doing it. Yeah, they uh -huh. got a whole bunch of fake pages. They be trying to make it seem like I'm going to believe you. Look at the way you're dressed. Uh, I can show you, Mr. Steve. I, I can show you right now. Oh, show me right yeah. now. Judge, I apologize to the court. I'm not aware of this, and I'm well, sure remember that I can't. Case. I, mean, I wasn't I over party that party on that case. And I'm sure the prosecution yeah. can give me a copy of it. We can. Well, I can figure out what happened if the court would just. Well, we help people in contempt in that. In the crowd, there were there were people who posted videos from inside the courtroom. Yeah. They were uh, they were they, uh, well, just no class. Just classless, classless. Who do, who would do something like that? You know, it's a murder trial, and that's just that just shows people don't think right, properly, decently. But there are rules, and we're going to hold people to the rules, or else the rules don't matter, and the rules make us act in a more in a fashion that's higher than the animal behavior. That's what makes humans special. We're supposed to have reasoning and thought. A lot of people don't act like that. They, they, it's animalistic almost. Uh, pets do better than some people in the way they act. And that's too bad. Uh, but they should, they get punished. That's the way you, the rules are the rules or else those kinds of people drag everybody down to their level. And that's not, we want a quality of life. Well, was he a witness judge or a? I, I, I couldn't yeah. tell you. I don't recognize the man. 
Okay. There were a lot of people in that trial. He was he was sitting in the audience. He was one of the ones that yeah, yeah, they were in the audience. I, I Again, I'll 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 tell you guys, I don't I, if I could get with Brodsky, would you figure this out? Yeah, they, they, they made a big yes. mess out of uh, out of things and they got in trouble. People got yes. in trouble. Yes, sir. Well, I think we can take care of that problem to us. Speak of Mr. Fondo. All right, I'll get a resetting. Okay. Get a resetting. Get a resetting. Yeah. Wait for me outside. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, Jennifer Wendling. Gone West. She's right outside. I don't want to be driving. How about Destiny Herm? She's come on. Come on up, then. Y'all come on up. Yes, sir. Sorry, you should have this person. What are we doing today? Is it who you're at? Yeah, it's just to come in after that last case. After that, <laughs> and you go, oh, after that, he's in a church, is in a real good mood. Yeah, you're dressed nice, you know, like you appreciate and respect the proceedings. I just don't understand. In your own Some people don't grow up in an environment that's that's good with the model. So we all know that. All right. Uh, here's what I call 23 CR 635, the state of Texas versus Jennifer K. Winling. That's you. No, sir. No, this is Ms. Destiny. Sorry. All comments, viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.